everyone. We're going to be unboxing Doughboy Cinnamon Rolls. My name is Amber. My name is Kareem. My name is Little Kareem. And we are the, the Dorsey's. All right, so let's get started. Let's see what we have in our box. we have instructions on how to make the rolls and on the back there is a QR code that brings you directly to the YouTube video. Next we have our cinnamon and sugar blend. Next we have our powdered sugar. Next we have our dough mix and yeast packet. Four packets lemon juice and one bottle of vanilla extract and those are our ingredients and so we're actually going to get started right now come on with us so now we'll be cutting open our package of dough mix and yeast and then of course we will be careful as we pour all of our content into the bowl. Now we'll be pouring in our eight tablespoons of beer. Then we have eight tablespoons of water. Two tablespoons of butter. One egg. Now it's time to mix and we will be mixing with our hands. Now we will be prepping our workspace with all-purpose flour to prevent any sticking. As you can see we are working on a granite countertop. The dough will be sticky at first, but then don't worry, it does uh, tighten up and it becomes more manageable as you knead it. And this kneading process um, can take anywhere from like eight to 12 minutes based on the strength that you use to knead and also your consistency of kneading, like the format in which you knead it. You may need to add a little bit more flour to your surface, and that's perfectly fine if you do that. Now it's time to check the consistency of your dough to see if it is ready to move forward. Um, this is called a window pane test. Pretty much you're stretching the dough just to ensure it is firm and tight. Um, you wanna check it by putting it up to a light source to see if light passes through. Um, if the light does pass through without it ripping, you are free to go. If not, if you have any holes or rips, then you need to begin the kneading process again. Now we're going to go ahead and use two tablespoons of oil to coat our dough. Um, however, we only use a splash. You're going to go ahead and just continue to smooth it out. We smooth it out and um, you're gonna also oil the base of your bowl. <laughs> now our dough is ready to be shaped. We um, re-prepped our area. As you can see, the dough has risen and it's double the size. Now we're going to go ahead and just shape it. Now we're gonna use our rolling pin. This is also granite to granite rolling pin. We 
which is very heavy, very effective. So it does smooth the dough very, very well. And as directed, we're gonna go ahead and smooth this out until we pretty much get the shape that we want. Um, and then stand by for the measurements. Now it's time to get that cinnamon all over the dough. It's time to spread it out. So be sure to use most of the content in the packet. You will have some remaining, but it's just good to use as much as you can. You'll thank me later. Um, and for any of the clumped pieces, just go ahead and sp um, spread those out as well. And then just begin rolling the dough. Just be sure to roll it as tight as you can. Try not to um, roll it loosely and pack the ends. So we decided to use two 8-inch non-stick aluminum pans for our rolls. So now it's time to cut our dough. So we sliced it directly in half as suggested. And then from here on out, you're going to just evenly try to divide this into 12 pieces and then go ahead and start laying it in the pan for baking. Now it's time for the icing. You're gonna put in your four ounces, which is half of a average size pack of cream cheese. Now you wanna go ahead and add in your butter. Vanilla extract. lemon juice and milk. 